Hey guys, so what's up and welcome back to my channel for another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can transform something like this into something like this. Super easy. Um, if I can do it, you can do it. Because guys, remember, I am not a baker by any means. And you guys thoroughly, really enjoyed my Jojo Siwa cake, which has almost 10,000 views. So thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Um... And again, it was really easy. People couldn't tell the difference. They thought I literally got it from a professional. No, I made it. And just like this cake as well. And please do not come for me in the comments and be like, well, girl, you, you did this wrong. I'm not a professional, okay? <laughs> so don't forget, guys, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also hit that notification bell so you are notified each and every time I post a video. So without further ado, let's actually see what we need. All right guys, voiceover time. So you're gonna need a pack of Oreos for this. You're gonna need a, a box of a chocolate cake mix or whatever cake mix. You're gonna need some chocolate morsels or any chocolate to melt. You're gonna need the Wilton icing, which is one of my favorites on Amazon for like 13 bucks. You're going to need a cake pan, any size of your choice, a scraper, a uh, cake board, but you don't need a cake board. A plate works just as well. Some dowel rods, a piping bag, but you can use a Ziploc bag. And you don't need this other pattern scraper, but I mean, if you want it. And of course, a tip, but again, you don't need any of these things. That's it. All right guys, so this is really easy. All you're really doing is just following the cake instructions. So that's basically it. All right, so now that that is done, we're gonna go ahead and start with the frosting. So you're gonna take about a cup, but it all depends on how big your cake pans are. And you're just gonna go ahead and smash up some cookies. Once you smash them enough, you're gonna go ahead and just dump them in the frosting and just mix it all up. And boom, there you go, cookies and cream icing. Now that that step is done, you're gonna go ahead and put a bit of the frosting right on top of your first sponge and that will be the first layer. You're gonna go ahead, take the other cake and you're just gonna repeat this process. Now you grab your dowel rods once you're complete and you're just gonna stick them right in there to make sure to hold the cake in place. And now we're just gonna chrome, crumb coat it, sorry guys, crumb coat it. It does not have to be perfect. You just need one tiny layer just to hold everything together. Gonna go ahead, refrigerate it, and then you're gonna frost the rest of the cake. Now time to frost. So you're gonna take a heaping full of frosting and you're just gonna go ahead and get it all over the cake. Once you do that, then you're gonna go ahead and scrape the excess off of it until it's nice and smooth. Again, I am not a professional and by this clip, you can clearly see that. So just do as best as you can. Um, just make it as clean as possible. I mean, you guys probably would do a better job than me, um, but just enjoy and let's check out the next step. All 
right guys you don't need this tool but um, since I already had it I figured I'll use it um, just make sure when using this you have to line up everything perfect if not you're just gonna have like you know off lines <laughs> so you're just gonna continue this step until basically it's nice and perfect which I didn't have perfect <laughs> So you're just going to use a half a cup of chocolate or like a cup and you're just going to go ahead and put some coconut oil in it because it will help it make it smoother and then you're just going to drizzle it on the cake. I didn't have an extra piping bag or anything so I just poured it from the cup but a lot of you asked about how I drip my cakes and usually I use a bottle like a squeeze bottle or I used a piping bag, but in this case, I didn't use neither. I just went ahead and just kind of evened out the chocolate, spreaded it a little bit, um, and that's basically it. Um, you guys can do different steps, but this is just the step that I took. you're gonna go ahead take the frosting out of it and just gonna crush it until it's nice and powdery and you're gonna go ahead and put it at the base of the cake as such and that's it for that part all right guys so time to pipe it so you're just gonna swirl it around as so and then you're gonna go ahead and put some Oreo cookies on there so you just stick it on and then with the rest of the Oreos that I had crushed I just put it right in the center of the cake and here it is guys the final product um, hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget manja until our next video friends bye